I am Manohar. I am the MD and CEO of uh, STEM Computer Research, Bangalore. The increased pre prevalence of um, cardiovascular diseases, metabolic disorders, and um, the cancer, and also the emergence of a more virulent form of the existing indicators, indi indications has uh, posed many challenges in the uh, existing medical therapies. So the industry and the medical fraternity is looking for something novel which can uh, reverse the trend of uh, the disease and also whether is it possible to repair and uh, regenerate the uh, diseased uh, tissues, organs or cells. If we see the uh, Indian uh, bioeconomy, bioeconomy was about uh, 80 billion dollars in uh, 2021 and if we come to in Bioeconomy, it includes um, the revenues generated from uh, vaccines, biotherapeutics, medical diagnostics, COVID vaccines, COVID uh, testing, and many things have been added together in the bioeconomy. And if you see the biotherapeutics, the revenue was about uh, $10 billion. But these revenues are coming from uh, biosimilars and also in biologics. But there is a big opportunity for India to showcase uh, cell and gene therapies. There are many opportunities where, once again, the current medicine is not addressing. There are many unmet medical needs. And I strongly feel cell and gene therapy will be an, uh, an, an emerging science and will be a big opportunity for India for uh, addressing many unmet medical needs. And also, India can become a good manufacturing hub in the cellular therapy. The current medicine, most of the medicines available today are addressing uh, only uh, the symptoms. So it's only a symptomatic treatment. So the medicines uh, are not addressing the root cause of the disease. For example, if we take diabetes, where the beta islet cell gets uh, degenerated due to genetic defects or due to, uh, other, uh, uh, due to other issues, so these beta islet cells are not generating enough insulin and you start taking the insulin injection, but we are not fixing the root cause of the disease where we had to regenerate the uh, degenerated cells. So the stem cells, I mean uh, the other cell and gene therapies try to address the root cause of the disease, thereby we regenerate the beta islet cells so that we don't have to take repeat insulin injections. So far we have been using the stem cells, uh, we focus on uh, uh, like MSCs, mesenchymal stem cells or me mesenchymal stromal cells. These cells are available in, um, in various parts of the body. Uh, currently, we focus on bone marrow. From bone marrow, we take the, uh, isolate the MSCs. We have got a technology, the process, the process has been patented and we, we use these MSCs which we isolate from bone marrow. We have a technology to multiply and to expand and ultimately produce the end product. But if we see the trend overall what is happening in the uh, cell therapies, instead of using the MSCs, which is uh, pluripotent, used for multiple indications, now the trend is going towards the uh, gene therapy. Can we engineer the stem cells? So far, we are working on non-engineered stem cells. We are working on God-given cells and see how we can use for multiple indications. Now, to further improve the overall efficacy of the product, the cell therapy, so people are working on engineering MSCs, go and inject some kind of uh, genes in the MSCs so that the MSCs can overexpress the relevant growth factors, cytokines, what is required for uh, treating uh, various indications. So, Stemputics is a leading regenerative medicine company with a stem cell platform technology for uh, treatment of immune mediated and inflammatory diseases. We are been working in this field for the last 14 years and uh, we are an MSC company. We focus on mesenchymal stem cells or mesenchymal stromal cells. In the last 14 years, we have been working on R&D to see what is the potency of these MSCs, where it can work, where it cannot work. And also we have done many studies in terms of the uh, safety profile of this, uh, of this compound MSCs. And we have done, we have focused on many indications and ultimately we could succeed on uh, two indications. One is uh, the peripheral vascular disease called critical limb ischemia. We are the first one 
in the world to come with a cell therapy for treating CLI, critical limb ischemia. We have gone through multiple phases of the clinical trials. We have done phase 1, we have done phase 2, we have done phase 3. And after submitting the clinical trial data to the Indian FDA, we have got the marketing approval. And now we have started marketing and uh, treating the patients. So it is available under the brand name Regenesip. We have tied up with Cipla. We are marketing through Cipla. Drug is available across multiple hospitals. And we have treated more than uh, 100 plus patients, commercial patients, in this indication. So we have put Stemputics has put India in the map of, uh, in the world map of regenerative medicine. First company to come with a drug design developed from India, developed from the scientists from India. We are a company from India where we have patented this entire process and the product across many countries, including US, Europe and Japan. So first company to come with a drug which has gone from bench to bedside, which has gone from concept to commercialization and commercial available for treating patients. Now we are thinking, we have commercialized for two indications. One is for critical limb ischemia and the other one is for knee osteoarthritis where the prevalence is uh, huge in India and of course globally, where we are trying to take patients who are in grade 2 or grade 3 of knee OA in the x-ray scale and see that how we can uh, fix the knee OA, how we can reduce the pain, prolong pain reduction and also how to improve the, uh, the, cartilage, the uh, cartilage matrix, the, uh, the collagen content and also how to avoid the uh, knee replacement or delay knee replacement. We are happy that we could commercialize our product Stempusel in India, but uh, the challenge is how we can take the product from India to the developed markets like US, Europe and Japan. In that context, we are discussing with US FDA, we are discussing with EMA in Europe and also we are discussing with uh, PMDA in Japan. There are challenges in terms of commercializing the product. We got the feedback and we are trying to fix some of the inputs given by these regulators in our chemistry, manufacturing and control. Once that is done, we want to go back to these regulators and see how we can commercialize at least for one, one indication. Currently, we are focusing on knee OA. Can we take our knee OA product from India to US, Europe and Japan? Few challenges we are facing uh, since our product has been approved and um, we have gone to the commercial stage, we are marketing it. One is the price of the product. Currently, the CLI, the critical limb ischemia product, costs about 1.95 lakhs to the patient. Even though we say that we have brought down 120th, 130th compared to the similar product available in, uh, in US or Europe, but still, the affordability is a challenge in, uh, in India. So we have to see how we can further bring down the price. The second challenge is the coverage of this product by the, by the insurance companies. So insurance companies also learning on the, on the cell therapy side. Even though it is approved by the Ministry of Health, by DCGI, we are uh, seeing that how this approved product can be covered by the insurance companies so that uh, the, the burden on the patients come down. And the third challenge is, yes, uh, third challenge is um, we have to maintain the cold chain. The logistics part is also a big challenge where we have to transport these stem cells at minus 185 degrees centigrade. So we are manufacturing in Manipal and shortly we will be moving to Bangalore. But we have to take this medicine from the manufacturing side to the hospital. We have to maintain the entire cold chain. Cold chain also is adding the cost. We have to uh, see that how we can bring down the logistics cost, but still see that yes, how we can maintain the cold chain, how we can take the product to the hospital, ultimately bring down to the normal temperature and administer the product to the patient.